name's Nicole and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight we are making a delicious and really fun appetizer. We're using seafood, which is my favorite here in Florida, and we are going to use these beautiful tuna steaks that I have here. I have two tuna steaks and I have it marinating right now in ponzu sauce, which ponzu is an Asian sauce. It's basically a citrus flavored soy sauce. So if you can't find ponzu, a bottled jar, um, then you could just use some orange, lemon, and lime juice, equal parts mixed in with soy sauce. And that's how you get your ponzu. It's delicious flavor. So I just have my tuna steaks in this ponzu. And now we're going to pull them out of that. And we are going to crust these with sesame seeds. So I have some mixed sesame seeds here that I bought in a jar. They're toasted black and white sesame seeds. And we are just going to sprinkle these and press these on both sides of our tuna steak. And they stick really well. There we go. About a tablespoon per steak. And while we're doing this, I have my cast iron pan over here heating up. Cast iron is my favorite pan to cook in when I'm searing something, because you're going to get that delicious crust on the outside, but the inside's still going to be nice and rare, and that's how I like my tuna. If you like it more medium rare, just cook it for a few extra minutes. But we're not going to have to cook it long at all to get that rare inside, probably about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the thickness of your steak. Okay, we're going to crust this one. Now, before I cooked these tuna steaks, I was making my mashed potatoes. We have wasabi mashed potatoes, and we're going to top them with our seared sesame tuna. How delicious does that sound? And, of course, our special ingredient in our wasabi mashed potatoes is going to be our Philadelphia cream cheese. That's really going to give them a great creamy texture. All right, so these tuna steaks are just about ready to go on. Now, I usually use olive oil when I cook, but for something that is going to be a high heat, olive oil doesn't do too well. So tonight we're using sesame oil. You just need a swirl in the bottom of your pan, maybe about a tablespoon. If you don't have sesame oil, you could try canola oil also, or grapeseed oil. Okay, so let's put this steak on. Okay, so we're going to sear our tuna steak for about 30 seconds on each side just to get that nice crust. And you can see as soon as you start cooking it, you can see the color changing right here. Doesn't take long in a hot pan. So now we're going to use our tongs and just flip it over. Look at how perfect that is. Beautiful, beautiful color. It's going to have a great flavor. So now flip this one. Great. So our tuna is resting. It's perfectly seared on the outside and after we let it rest for a few minutes we're going to slice it. So now we're going to put together our mashed potatoes. I have boiled Yukon Gold potatoes here. I've just peeled them and chopped them. I have about five medium sized Yukon Gold potatoes. And we're going to pour this right into our mixing bowl. These nice hot potatoes. We're going to add two tablespoons of softened butter. And we're going to add two ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese and mix this together. And that cream cheese and the butter should blend pretty well because these potatoes are nice and warm. So it's all going to incorporate great. It's going to be a really rich, chunky mashed potato. And that's how I like it with this dish. All right, perfect. Didn't take long at all. So now. We're going to add our wasabi paste. Now, wasabi is Japanese horseradish, so you can find it in almost any grocery store in the oriental section. So you can usually buy it in a little tube like this, and we are going to do, this is according to your spice preference, because it can be a little spicy. I'm gonna start off with about a tablespoon, mix it in, taste it, always taste as you go, 
and add more if you want. I like the heat, so we'll probably add at least another tablespoon. Perfect. I can smell it. Whew, it's clear in my sinuses, but it's some good stuff. Okay, so we added a little bit more. Alright, and that's all there is to it. Okay, so now we're going to plate our appetizer. Can you see this gorgeous color of these mashed potatoes? Beautiful gold color and a great creamy texture. So we're going to do a nice mound of these right in the middle of our plate. And then we're going to slice our tuna and lay it right on top of the mashed potatoes. This is a rich and delicious and hearty appetizer that you are going to love. And all I've done is I've mounded our potatoes right in the middle of the plate and I've layered thin slices of our sesame crusted tuna right on top. You can see the beautiful red rare color right in the middle. And then I've just dotted some beautiful wasabi paste right on the side and served a side of ponzu sauce on the side to dip. Alright, my name is Nicole and I'll see you next time.